Welcome to Cave Derpy Part 4. I'm Neckbeard and I'm gonna play a game about ponies and they shoot things. Last time we left off, we were here. Very descriptive. So, uh, we actually, we went to Grasstown and we accomplished something, I imagine. I have to rewatch that video. No, I'm just kidding. Let's go see what's going on here. Okay. Again, needless cuts. They're just dialogue that doesn't fulfill any purpose whatsoever. Except for flavor text, but not even good flavor text. Uh, in any case, let's go to Grasstown and see what's going on there. Oh, I remember what happened. I, uh, fucking... Since I didn't save... Actually, I saved, but I went past the fire. Th I'll show you what I'm talking about. I don't know how to explain it. By the way, just so you know, this barrier... Or this is a barrier, apparently. You can go through it, but they can't, I guess. I've noticed. So use that to your advantage if you so desire to. Um... I believe we're gonna have to get the jellyfish jelly again because I'm retarded and forgot that you can't just stop in the middle of a level and expect it to save your progress. Uh, so yeah. Luckily for us, that's not gonna be too hard of a challenge. I don't think, anyways. And maybe I can get some level for this shit while I'm at it. Oh shit. Oh, I guess I have—I didn't even save to get the key. Well, at least I know what to do now, so it won't take nearly as long. So, okay, we get the key. That faggot's gonna let us into his house. And then... I really should save. I don't know why that didn't happen. Alright, let's give Santa his key. The one thing I do hate is how, like, a lot of the cutscenes in this game, so to speak, are just people walking away, and you can't, like, skip that, and it takes forever. I don't know. Well, it's not, it doesn't take forever, but it, it seems like it adds up. I don't know. It kind of bothers me a little bit. But, in any case. By the way, fucking death trap right below your bedroom is not the safest plan for, uh, you know, a house. Probably shouldn't have a death trap in your house at all, but regardless, it's like malevolent, malevolent architecture for some reason. If you want to go searching farther in, you'll have to pass through the fireplace in Chaco's house. It's not like they're going to hint it at or anything, you just have to do it blatantly. Oh, and the fireballs are at level one, so I should probably get some levels for it real quick while all these newly spawned enemies are here so let's kill these helicopters things fucking I don't even care what they're called I think I have full miss. yeah I just got a full missiles pack so fuck I don't need any missiles thank you not Fuckers. Okay, so the one time I need to get yellow triangles, none shall come to me. That sucks. Okay, I got a fuse in there, so that's no big deal now. Okay, never mind. I leveled down because I'm retarded. Let's try to do this without killing myself. I, w I think the um three hearts gives you... I'm not sure how much more health it gives you than one heart. It would seem intuitive that it gives you three times as much, but I mean, obviously, you can, I can't tell. Oh, shit. Also, my health is at, uh, is at 10 max, so I think I didn't get a uh, heart capsule that I had originally gotten as well, so I'll figure out what the deal is with that. So I'm pretty sure I was at 13 max. Fuck. It. These guys. I really want to know what the official name for these things are, because I keep 
is talking about that, and I have no idea what it is. But, in any case, it'd be cool if... In this game, instead of... Since you're derpy and all, if... Instead of getting a jetpack, you just got, like, literal wings. I don't know, that'd be kind of cool. Oh, sw oh god damn it. I got there, but then I slipped off at the last second. Okay, let's try this one more time. Uh, fuck it. I'll probably get it off screen at some point anyways. It's not a big deal, but I do want to get it before... I forget about it or something. Because, again, they're not crucial to get, but it really improves your chances of beating this game in under 100 play th or 100 LPs, so... Fucking bad. Come here. There we go. I hate that. You can't hit them very easily unless, like, you're perfectly in the exact angle. Okay. So, we don't even need to talk to her. We'll just go here and she'll tell us that we can extinguish the fire. That's all I need to know. Jellyfish juice. Yeah. And I don't even know what the charcoal does. I'll have to look that up. I don't know if it's a plot relevant item or if it's like a side quest kind of thing or what. I imagine it's plot relevant because I remember getting it before for like, a, I think I remember getting it for a reason anyways. I don't know, I could be completely wrong on that. Let's kill these guys from a distance in the easiest wall shit. Damn it. There's gotta be like an angle. Yeah, whatever, I'll kill him. The old fashioned fair and square way. And the plasma charges kill bats instantaneously, so that's good. But I think they take one or two hits for these guys. And especially for those giant ones. I'm not sure what we'll, I'll have to. Okay, so they die in one hit with level two. So yeah. Oh, you can't break those. I didn't realize you can't do that without... Uh... <laughs> but yet, <yeah>, so... <clears throat> We're, oh, wait a minute. I thought the jellyfish was up there. Maybe it's over here. Yeah. Alright, I, I see where it is. I can't actually see... Okay, now I can see it. These fuckers are annoying sometimes. These jellyfish, that is. Just because, like, they're so numerous, that's the only real problem. Okay. Let's... I think it won't take too many hits. Yeah, there we go. And then... Does our fireball... Yeah, okay, it's level 2. That's, that's really all I need. I don't need it to be level 3 for everything. If this was my personal run-through, I'd probably have a more... strategic take to that, but I don't really care that much. Alright, let's try this while we're here a couple times. I seriously need to get this. And it wasn't... I got up there twice, and I got over to the, tri the other square twice, but... I'll try it one more time. I don't, it's not, like I said, it's not a big deal. Fuck! Jesus Christ. Uh, oh yeah, okay. So, to the left is the charcoal, and to the right is actual plot. Let's go do that. That's more important, I think, at this moment. If it turns out that the charcoal is plot relevant, then obviously I'll have no choice but to get it, so I'll let that come if that comes in my mouth. Uh, so yeah. We gotta come up here. I'm gonna go ahead and save just in case I forget to. Seriously, I hate when I do that. Oh, I should've... Okay, I'm gonna sleep and then I'm gonna save. 
Because there's not a health container over here, or uh, fucking monitor over here, so I'm gonna only be able to get my health refilled. I won't be able to get my missiles refilled, sadly, but it's not a big deal. Uh, <clears throat> let's, do I just, yeah, okay, I just, I didn't know if I had to actually equip it or something. It's silly like that. Um, for, for a second I couldn't control it, I thought that was because of technical difficulties. Actually, that's just a uh, cutscene or something. Alright, let's kill these bats with the most ineffective weapon for air combat ever. Okay, I take that back. The swords it is that definition. Shit. Oh shit, 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 shit. I didn't realize they would come down. I didn't even see him anyway, so that's really the reason. Oh, this is already at level 3. Ah, I spoke too soon. Uh, that's another thing too that the um, fireballs are good at. Like, there's a couple space or places in the game where you're actually navigating a completely dark room, and you can use the fireballs to like kind of navigate it before you actually navigate it. If that makes any sense, because they bounce off of walls and stuff, so you can see which, like, where walls are if the whole place is completely dark. Actually, I think there's only one place that has you do that, but still, regardless, it's useful when it happens. And I didn't think of that the first time I played. What are those even? Those red fucking... I don't even know what those are. They shoot at you? Can I... I don't think I could've. Oh, you have to get... Okay, I see what I gotta do. Let's come in here. Let's read the sign. Power room. Obviously, it's locked. It wouldn't be that easy now, would it? Uh, I don't think I'll have to deal with those. Oh, maybe I will. Yeah, seriously, I don't even know what those red things are. It's kind of weird. They just look weird, but didn't see that frog there. They only, they only take a couple hits from a plasma charge, but still. Do I... I wonder... Oh, here's the, uh... Okay, here's the motorbike. Can I come in here? Nope. But I can talk to this guy from through the crack. You look like a nice young mare. Could you help me out? I'd really like to get out of here. Thanks. Take this. I have a rusty key. I hope... I wonder if there's a door that needs opening just by chance. Oh, I bet it's this door. Oh, oh, no. Obviously, it's not this door. That would be too easy. Nope, they never give you anything that easily. You have to come all... Oh, shit. Well, okay. Not that it matters, but you have to come all the way over here. And I'm pretty sure it's this one. Yep. Whatever this is. Oh, shit. I don't want to be in here right now. I want to go save first. That initiates a cutscene and an actual boss battle, I think. So, I'll save before I do that because I'd rather not die and lose all my progress because, yeah, that's probably the most sane, logical choice. I would say. I would really suggest abusing the fireball- oh shit, I didn't even see that. I won't pay attention. Abuse the fireballs when you're on slopes because it seriously is a lot more damage than the Polar Star. And when you get the machine gun, I don't know if it's more damaging or not. But it's... oh shit. Let's try to do this without causing too much frustration on my part. Did I fucking really just do that? I am so goddamn... Oh, God. Yeah, I want to retry from all the way back here, yeah. That sounds like a great idea. At least it's not all the way back at the teleportation station of masturbation. It's like that rhyming scene. Oh shit! I always forget that the bats do that. I thought that they just kind of like, like, I don't fucking know, sway and shit. But no. They have to be complicated. I think only some bats do that. Like the ones up, up there and shit. Uh, let's... See if we can get some multiple kills, or not at all. 
At least there's no, like, drop to my death in there. That would be inconvenient, to say the least. Oh, it only kill it only takes one shot to kill him? With that? Then again, it's a level three. Yeah, you can't make that jump. Okay, so it's right here. Okay, I got I just gotta maintain my cool. Those frogs are not too hard to dispatch. <clears throat> They're disposed of in any case. Uh I gotta, I gotta talk to this faggot again. Hopefully I don't die when I do the most basic of tasks this time. In fact, I'll get the missiles out so that I don't run into that problem. And I'll just kill him from a distance. I don't know why I didn't do that the first time. Oh shit. Good thing there's not spikes there. That would have been really embarrassing. By the way, I didn't even notice that chest up there to the top right. Probably be getting that eventually. I'd never noticed that until just now. So yeah, get that if you want. I don't care. Or if you know, if not, it's not like I'm here to teach you how to play the game or anything. All right, now that we saved, we can go do the cutscene with all the boss fighting and robots that. Fucking, I don't know. A robot, it doesn't seem to have any power. Well, I wonder what happens if I activate the power. Ah, um, Yes. Uh, should I be afraid? Should I run? Should I- oh shit! It's a toaster again. Seriously, what is that thing? He looks exactly like a toaster. C even complete with like the handles that you push your fingers down so you can make the toast go down. Or fucking bread, I guess. You don't put toast in a toaster after all. Doctor's orders, of course. I hope that, uh, he doesn't hit me with gigantic, really slow-moving energy blasts. That's my one true weakness. I spoke too soon. Fuck. It's hard to, like, to... Oh, wait, I just realized I'm almost dead, and I haven't even dented his health. I should be more careful. Okay, I should not die. That's also good. Then again. It's right. Right here. Okay, let's try this again in a less faggoty manner. Use the rusty key. At least it's not a long trip. It's like, I can just go right there and right back. Also, I think most of my weapons are at level 3 right now, so that's at least a good good thing for this. I don't have to bother with annoying amounts of level 1 attack. Like, you'd have to keep attacking them over and over again. Skip most of this fight, if at all possible, because I've already seen it. At least he's sportingly about it. He asks if I'm ready. Oh shit. Oh shit, I'm empty. Okay, so that's a problem. Uh, and I only have six health. He has probably like 20 health, or like not even 20, like way more. God damn it. I wish I had more m maximum missiles. I only have 10 at this moment. I wonder... I think I'll just have to rely on the Polar Star after... 
my missiles shit out. At least it does do a significant amount of, of damage really quickly, so there's at least that. It's just a matter of dodging all the stupid fucking circle blasts that he throws at you. Yeah. Fucking seeing this shit again, okay? Seriously, that is one problem that I hate, have with this game is that every time you die, you have to see the cutscene again and again and again. I wish you could just like. I mean, I think when you get to see it again, you fucking it scrolls. You can make it scroll faster, but still, I wish you could just skip it all, all together. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize that they actually collide with his balls of steel. That's a problem. Okay, that was my last one. Oh wait, can I... I think I can dissipate his shots with my polar star. Yeah. Wow. Ah. So close. Let's try this one more time. God damn it. So, this fucking toaster is really giving me a hard time. Hopefully I can take him out this time. If not, I'm gonna have to cut the video short. Oh shit, I... Yeah, but now that I can... I realize that I can dissipate his shots by shooting them with my own, that's really helpful. And you can take this health down pretty quickly with a polar star, but... Only if... You can get within the range, because it's, again, limited range. Okay. Oh. Well, I'm sorry, folks. I'll have to defeat the f fucking giant toaster next time. No, I don't want to retry. I'll see you guys next week on the Neckbeard Plays of Cave Derpy.